Court, how about DT? Give us a sense for DT being nominated for one of the 167 on the Hall of Fame and stuff like that, and just your thoughts and memories of Demarius. Man, I did not know that. That's, uh, that's news to me. So, um, man, that's amazing. Um, I think that it's something that, you know, um, he earned, and you know, if if the committee finds it, you know, fit into, you know, vote him into the Hall of Fame, I think that'll be something that would be um, an amazing accomplishment for himself, his family, this organization. Um, you know, he had an amazing career, um, something that you all know very well, very very well that I admired, and something that um, the time the the time that we had together, I treasured um, dearly and hold close to my heart, and um, you know. It's something that he, he definitely, like I said, earned and deserved, it, you know, deserves based upon the, the numbers and the things, the accolades that he was able to accumulate over um, his career. Corey, can you expound on that a little bit? Because you obviously came in as a rookie. He had won a Super Bowl, been to a bunch of Pro Bowls, just what that relationship was, was like. What do you mean? You, you and DT, like, as you got to know him and just be around him. Like, you, our, you, yeah, just your interactions and what he taught you and, and meant to you. And, all, and even after, you know, he... He got traded, and yeah, um, he he and I, you know, when I got here, he 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 was somebody that took me on his wing, somebody that, uh, you know, I I appreciated, you know, um, from day one, um, just being someone that he could have easily had shunned me off, and 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 been a a guy that that could have cared less and looked at me as just another guy that was that was brought in brought in here to you know try to help the position, but you know he took me on his wing and and tried to show me as much as he possibly could in the short amount of time that we that we had but then even you know beyond the time that we had here um he, you know he still would you know make sure that everything was good with me you know we would still be able to you know um Hang out away from away from the game, and to be able to you know people see and learn more about his personality away from the game, and the things that that care that 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 matter to him, things that he cared about a lot. Um, you know, it was it's, it's something that kind of molded my the way that I carried myself and, and the way that I carried my professional career um, was being able to have a, an amazing example like him um, showing me the ropes. Court, uh Sean was just talking about how good Tampa is down in the red zone. That area of the field in particular, what are the keys in your mind to finding success down there and how critical will those, will those opportunities be this weekend? Yeah, I mean, shoots. I mean, we've seen it the past two weeks. Um, yeah, they put yeah we, we put them to bed, but it's, it's it's still things that we know that we gotta make sure we you know grow from. We've had trips down there that we just haven't been able to get the ball in the end zone, and you know. Um, both of these games, the defense have played their butts off to give us a chance to be able to, you know, go and go and put a, a, you know, even one touchdown. Us going to put one touchdown on, on the board would would have, you know, changed the outcome a little bit differently last week. So um, maximizing those opportunities we get down there. Yeah, three. You know, y'all hear me say it all the time. Three points is nice, and I, I'm, I, I trust I trust that Will would get get us those three points when we need them. But we ultimately need to, you know, find a way to score touchdowns, and it's just, you know. Finding, finding, finding ways to do, do good better. I guess you can say, you know, um, good just isn't enough for where we are right now. We have to find a way to, to maximize those trips as much as we possibly can, and um, it's gonna take all of us. It, it, it literally takes all of us from, you know, um, literally every single one of us. It, it, it takes the whole village to be able to make sure that this that this situation gets resolved, and, and we start finding ways to put touchdowns on the board. Time for two more questions. Or is, what's the biggest challenge that this offense faces right now in just gaining rhythm, just the normal rhythm you want to play with? Uh, I mean, I think it's just being consistent. Uh, I think we, we, have, we have situations where we have times in the game where, you know, we will look really smooth and things like they're clicking and we're, you know, moving the ball down the field and, you know, something may stall out, stall out before we get to, you know, get, get into the red zone or when we get in the red zone or, and then we have some possessions where it becomes, it's a three and out and we go run three plays and we're punting. And so I think that in order for us to be able to make that step to become a um, more efficient offense, it's going to take a, uh, you know, a consistency of us being able to execute at a high level um, more times than not, 
Um, I think that's the, the the biggest thing for us. I think that's the thing that's going to set us over. That's going to put us over the edge and put us into that that drive mode that we need to get into. With just finding a way to be as consistent as we can, and, and I think that when we do that, we see that we can move the ball down the field. And you know, when we take care of the ball, we can you know find ways to at least be able to find three points. But like I said just a minute ago, turning those three points into six, seven points. You know, that's that's the ultimate thing. But I think it just takes consistency. Gordon, after this week, after. you guys are staying on the East Coast for Go. the entire week. How how important will that be from a team bonding experience? And is that something you're looking forward to? Yeah, um, I think that you know um, this opportunity. I've been I've been. I won't say that, but I've been uh, talking to my boys about the trip, and I've been referencing a, a certain movie, and I'm sure y'all boys will probably pick up on it. But um, I, I think that it's going to be a great opportunity for us. The, the biggest thing is us going to go take care of Tampa right now. You know, we got we got a big, a big, a big week ahead of us. Um, sitting in the position that we're sitting in, we're the only ones that can control. Um, our direction where we go next and Tampa is the the game that's mo that's most important to us and we want to go take care of Tampa and you know um, prepare this week go out there and um, play that game Sunday and everybody's going to leave it all on, on on the field and then you know um, after that we'll, we'll we'll move forward to the next week after that but right now the most important thing for us is just getting this week done and maximizing each day that we can with practice and meetings so that we can go out there and have the best week of, the best week of prep and the, the best game we possibly can put out there.